Hey, how's it? Welcome to the channel, Kids Showtime here, and this is, as you can see, another Showtime creation. So it's uh, October the 18th, uh, 2020, um, and just last week, uh, the LA Lakers won the championship. So, you know, what better way to make a cocktail, you know, in, you know, kind of inspired by the Lakers, but more, more importantly, inspired by Kobe Bryant, as you can see. So that's why you have the Black Bottom, you know, his nickname, the Black Mama. This is the Black Mama cocktail. I know there's other Black Mama uh, cocktail drinks out there, but this is a Showtime creation, y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is drinks by Showtime. So I'm going to show you how to make this. You got the black layer with the yellow and the purple. Represent the Lakers color. So, and the Kobe Bryant was a lifetime Laker. So, you know, even though he was, you know, dropped by Nets, traded, you know how the story goes. So... As you can see right here, doing some Italian liqueurs. Uh, Kobe Bryant lived in Italy. You know, he speaks Italian, and then also make it taste like a, a jelly bean, uh, black licorice jelly bean. You know, as his father nicknamed a jelly bean. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. So right now I'm gonna hit you with the intro, hit you with the um, the ingredients, and uh, yeah, let's make this, y'all. All right. The most got the hairy fraud. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, so let's get into these ingredients. So first thing up, some Empress Gin, some Limoncello, some uh, Blackberry liqueur. If you got Blackberry brandy, that's, that's even better. Some sweet and sour. Some grenadine. Last, some Sambuca Black. All right, y'all, let's make this. All right, y'all, now that we got the ingredients out the way, let's make this. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is uh, get your shaker, bam. Put that right there, and then we're gonna do an ounce of the Sambuca. All right, so I'm just gonna pour it in my uh, Supreme Sake cup. It's about an ounce right here. Just right below the top. You know, they don't call me the hype beast bartender for no reason. So, as you can see, all supremed out. <laughs> all right, so we got that out the way. And then now we're going to do a half ounce of grenadine. Bam. And then, you know, you measure it out to the size of the, uh, the glass you're using. You know, that's, that's how you do it on this one. And then we're gonna do a half ounce of this blackberry liqueur. If you have blackberry brandy, even better. Right. Put a little bit more, bam. That one didn't pour that right, so there we go. So we got about half an ounce right there. Might be a little bit more, might be right on there, but it's all good. So we got that there. And now we're gonna shake it up. So I got some ice, bam. Right. Put this bad boy up. And bang. All right. So here we go. A little piece of, I don't know what that was right there on the glass, but knock that off right there. I'm just going to pour this one in. Okay, so we got that there. We got the, the bottom layer down. So now we're gonna move on to the second layer. So we grab another 10. This one I'm not gonna use ice since this one's already chilled with the on it, so no need. So we're gonna about to do a half ounce of this uh, limoncello. If you didn't know, uh, Kobe Bryant lived in uh, Italy, so another reason for some of these ingredients. If you didn't know, the limoncello, Italy product, so. And then, of course, the, uh, the Sambuca. It is Italy, right? Am I tripping? Yeah, it is a product of Italy. <laughs> I'm tripping, yeah. So that's the reasons I picked those. All right, so then we got that. Then we're going to do a half ounce of the sweet and sour. All right, let's put that there. So for this one, I'm not going to uh, shake up. I'm just going to stir it. I mean, you can shake it if you want. There we 
take out. Give it a little bit more of a stir. I mean, that lemon shell smells so good too. All right, so now we're gonna layer this bad boy. Get that yellow layer. Get that yellow layer. All right, yeah. There you go. All right. I can see that. Yeah, looks pretty good there right go. there. Yeah, I can see that. All right, looks pretty she, good right there. Still got a little bit more. I thought I had it all, all in right. there. She still got a little bit more. I thought I had it all in there. There goes that yellow layer right there. That looks good. You know, I mean, you can just make it just like that, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna add a little purple to it. Get that thin out the way. Bam, that's why you keep this here. Probably should switch this around so that, you know, I'm not reaching over the straws, but it's all good. All right, so wipe this down. All right, take the next thing. Bam. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Empress Gin, man. Look at this beautiful color. So it says an indigo but blue, but to me this is purple. I mean, you know, it's got kind of like a violet tone to it. And what's cool about this uh, Empress Gin is it actually changes color when you use like tonic or different uh, alcohol to it. So we're gonna do an ounce of this. All right, where'd my poor spot go? <laughs> All right, so let's do an ounce right here. Bam. This is pretty good gin too. So it gets the color from the uh, the, pe the pea blossom. So it's not uh, dye that they use. It's actually uh, from the from a flower. Gives it that nice color. So now we're just gonna layer this one right on top. I'm trying to balance my arm so it's not shaking over here. But no matter what, it still does. So here we go. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful color. All right, Bam. And as you can see, you got the three uh, layers right there. You got that purple with that yellow to that black. And here it is, y'all, the, the Kobe Bryant uh, Black Mamba cocktail. The black, uh, the jelly bean, the black licorice jelly bean. All right, y'all. Hi, right, y'all. So here we go. So the, here it is. This is the uh, the Kobe Bryant Black Mama cocktail. Three layers. Uh, tastes like a uh, black jelly bean. Uh, the Jelly Belly uh, Black Licorice Jelly Bean. So you know you got the sambuca, also with the limoncello. You know some Italian liqueurs right there, representing Kobe Bryant living in uh, Italy. Um, also speaking Italian, and then also you got the uh, the purple and the yellow representing. Uh, the Lakers, they just won the championship last week, y'all. So, you know, with LeBron. So, I mean, maybe one day I'll make a LeBron cocktail. I mean, <laughs> uh, that might actually be next on the menu. But for right now, I got so many other ones coming up. So, you know, you know, be sure to uh, subscribe, like, comment, you know, and check out my, my other videos coming up. I got plenty of creations coming as well. I'm going to show you how to make, like, uh, classic drinks as well. But this right here, man, this took a lot of planning, like, just to get all the layers and to make it taste good. You know, I'm not the biggest licorice fan um any kind of licorice but you know once in a while you know it's like whatever somebody buys it i'll take the shot so you know this is kind of in the mood drink to taste you know i mean it looks cool definitely looks cool you know yellow is my favorite color so i like having it right on the bottom and then that purple the only thing is like um this difference is actually like when you pour it sometimes it's a lighter color but because the reflection of it, it it makes it turn out darker but i mean this is still good so if you love black licorice or if you love just the, the, I mean, it's the same thing, but if you love the uh, the Jelly Belly Black uh, gum, uh, Jelly Bean, this is it, y'all. This is worth trying. So uh, check it out, y'all. Uh, check out my other videos. And until next time, it'll be another uh, Showtime creation, y'all. All right.